episode for today's episode. We have a Jace and a Malcolm here, and Malcolm just picked up a 318 IS Beamer because uh, turns out these things slide real easy. Drift car, so drift car lifestyle. So it's coming up, stay tuned. So, <laughs> in all its glory, We've got a Beamer. What does the engine look like? Can I pop this? Yeah, it's open. <laughs> Super. So one point eight liter. All right. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. So that starts up, which is perfect. Um, what else? Uh, what are we looking to do today? I saw you walk in. It's crazy. No one else would believe this, but Malcolm came walking through the garage door with his uh, differential in one hand and literally like the uh, undercarriage braces and everything literally in his other hand. So, <laughs> yeah. So I imagine all this needs to go in there. Yes. Yeah, I saw. Uh, <laughs> yeah, guy got, got it slid it into a curb uh, four days after owning it. So oh. uh, he was the second owner and instantly tried to drift it and completely failed. Oh, all right. Well, we know it slides then. <laughs> okay, so we got a diff, we got a shock, we got extra options just in case. So we got this on the lift now and uh, we're gonna go ahead, lift it up in the air and uh, take a good peek underneath, figure out what else is broken. <laughs> All right. Well, needs a new tire. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If you look right here, it's oh yeah, coming it's out of the dip completely. there. Yeah. So things are broken. This is the uh, sway bar link is broken. Okay. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and and gone. And the spring is all completely out here. Eesh. Ooh. That's nice. Yeah. And it's the, not supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah. It's also not supposed to be completely torn at the boot. No. Super awesome. Yeah, pretty sweet. Yeah. All right, a little mangled. But, uh, <laughs> you know. Yeah. This is perfect condition for a uh, drift car. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because, I mean, this is like every weekend for a drift car. All right, and that's a welded disc, so. Sweet. Yes. Like. So, we got a whole bunch of parts off, and uh, so we got, you know, knuckles and knuckles, and then we got a larger, beefier differential going on over here, yeah? Yep. Cool. So they spin. So. Yep. And then we got wheels, wheels, and a smaller diff. So, we're going to be dropping that puppy, and uh, yeah, it's going to be cool. I don't know why I called it a puppy. Thank you. never seen someone pick up the entire rear setup. He, did, he, he just put, he just literally, what the heck are you? I don't know how many pounds that is, but that is crazy. That is nuts. Anyway, so he, <laughs> wow. You're awesome. <laughs> nuts, so yeah, I mean, this is literally the entire rear construction with the axles well one axle and the everything oh wow the buckets and everything so we've got a huge empty space up here now yep and uh we just gotta put everything back on just but like upgraded everything really yeah so sweet bigger beefier and better bigger beefier and better yeah we got a bigger beefier and better kind of everything here. This is a, uh, you know, differential and we got the brace and everything, so. Woo! Gonna be drift ready soon. Yeah. Wham! So 
So, <laughs> look at that. Whoa, okay. This is the most ridiculous thing. He just, seriously, the most impressive yeah, thing. The wires go up top and this portion is not going to come forward over here. Shit. All right, I got a better idea. I'm a soon after. Sometimes you have an open diff. Sometimes you have a limited slip, and sometimes you have a welded diff. Here, go ahead and spin it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we can do that. Yep, so that is throwing together a drift car full send. And if you made it this far, you liked the video, so make sure to smash that like button down below. Make sure to subscribe, share with all your friends. We have so much more coming up. And so now, we need to test to make sure that this thing works. Yes. Yeah. comment below share the video Subscribe, Mel's Garage. What's up? Woo!